Air is free. We breathe it to live and we don't pay a dime for it. However, compressing air is not free. This video is going to examine the cost of compressing air. Air cylinders are used widely in machines and most manufacturing facilities have one or more air compressors plus lines that go throughout the manufacturing facility. Also, air cylinders are easy because you can tap into an airline nearest the machine. You can get usually the controls designed by the sales personnel for the uh, valves and air cylinders. First cost then is low, but a lot of times there's no thought given to how much does it cost to compress the air or what is the amount of air I'm going to need for my machine. I'm going to show a method of calculating the air needed for an air cylinder, the power that's going to be required to compress that air, the cost of doing that compressing of the air. We're going to then compare the operating cost of the air cylinder to doing the same operation with a cam and follower mechanism. The examination of pros and cons we're going to leave to a paper that I'll mention later. For the equations I'm going to show in the next slide and for the example problem, we're going to be using a single stroke cylinder that has a bore of uppercase D, stroke of S, rod diameter of lowercase D operating against a force F. This screen shows the basic equations that will be used in the spreadsheet that I'll show later for the capacity or the amount of air needed to supply the cylinder, the power to compress the air, and the cost for compressing the air. Now for a simple example. We have a bore of 2 inches, rod diameter of 3 fourths of an inch or 0.75, stroke of 2 inches, operating against a force of 200 pounds, no force on the retract, and the time to extend we're going to assume to be one second. Here's a list of the assumptions that were used in comparing the air cylinder to the cam and follower. And you can read through those, but uh, there's one thing that I do want to mention, and that is the motor efficiency is ignored in both the compressor and the cam. I also recognize that speed reduction from the motor to the cam is in there, and I've ignored the inefficiency or efficiency of that reduction. So that would add something to the uh, power requirement for the cam. The rest of the assumptions you can read. Here's a copy of the spreadsheet that was used to compute the air usage and the power required that use the equations that were shown previously. You notice that there are two colors of cells in this column, one gray and one magenta. The gray cells are where you enter data. The magenta cells are computed values from the data entered. Also, you'll notice to the right, 1, 2, 3 through 7 are instructions for using the spreadsheet. Another thing to notice in the spreadsheet for the data that we have entered for our example, that the cost per year of compressing the air for that air cylinder is $83,460. And the air usage, you'll notice, is given in this cell volume for free air for the extend stroke of 61 cubic inches per second and for the retract stroke 9.83. This shows the verification of the computed cells in the spreadsheet through hand calculation. To compare the power required for a totally mechanical device to the air cylinder power, I'm going to be using Cam Designer SE. I'll export the output from Cam Designer to Excel, and then I'll do some multiplications to determine the power required and finally the cost of that power. I'm going to briefly look at Cam Designer. Here's the kinematics showing a cycloidal rise, dwell, fall, and dwell, and the displacement is 2 inches. 
we look at the graph of displacement is black, red is velocity, blue is acceleration, and that shows our segments and the motion of the follower. And then looking at the geometry part of the program, we can see that there's no loads on the follower except for varying loads in segment one, which is our rise portion, we have 200 pounds applied. The tabulated computations show the displacement, velocity, acceleration, and we can select a number of other parameters to compute. These we're going to export directly to Excel and the results are transferred directly to Excel. This spreadsheet shows those values from Cam Designer that have been computed at five degree increments and the power has been computed by taking the shaft torque multiplying it by the RPM of 15 and converting that to inch-pounds force per second. That was converted then to horsepower and finally to kilowatts. Averaged at the bottom and then multiplied by the 900 strokes or 900 times per minute per hour and then the cost of 8 cents per kilowatt hour multiplied by that to give us a cost per year of $12,331. And then that value was copied to this spreadsheet where we showed the cost of the air cylinder compressing the air for that. This is the cost of the cam. Subtracting the two, we get $71,130 approximately savings per year. This simple example demonstrates that the cost of compressing air can be high and it should be used with your eyes open. You should look both at the capacity required plus the power needed. And uh, another thing that I want to mention is that there's a copy of this spreadsheet available to associate members of Delta-ENG.com plus it can also be purchased individually for a nominal fee. The spreadsheet, there's two of them one that has macros and one that does not is also available on the website as well as a demo version of Cam Designer and there's other options for using a full version of Cam Designer. Thanks for watching.